Okay. So this is something that's quite interesting. You guys remember when I uploaded a video way long ago talking about Sword Girls, Sword Girls Online, the very fun card game that I actually enjoyed. Well, the PC version got shut down a long time ago, but apparently it's now a mobile game. Hey, what's up as well if you're one and only how all my adventures doing? Welcome to, well, it's not even called Sword Girls Online. It's basically the same concept as Sword Girls Online, but it's also not in English at all. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and say that. It's actually on the Q app. So hold on, let me, let me actually show you guys. Where is it? Yeah, so it actually ends up being on the Q app, which you guys can download, but it's not under Sword Girls. Here it is. This is the name of it, <laughs> which is very odd, <laughs> which threw me off when I actually like looked it up because I was just saying like, I wonder if anybody made Sword Girls Online again, you know, try it again, just would try to get them some exposure at least, <laughs> but it doesn't seem like this is going to get a global release anytime soon. So. I'm just saying that now there you can lose all hope on that <laughs> there's a low chance of it getting global release since it's been out for so long so yeah let's get into it it's funny because it still has the classic cards from the original it's also in korean which i'll be using google translator on my phone so i could just camera it if my phone would shut up stop telling me useless things i don't care about all right so anyway okay apparently all of my notifications are gonna come in now it still has basically the same layout Oh, wow, it still has the same sound effect, too. So it's basically Sword Girls Online. It's just with a different layout. Still has the original cards, okay. It's only funny because I remember what half of these cards do. This one, if I remember correctly, increases HP per turn. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and verify that. <laughs> it's Korean. Oh no, this one is a random random follower that increases their attack. There was a different one that I used to use for this school that increased HP and attack over time. But this one chooses a random. And these cards can be upgraded. The thing that makes me happy is that there is no stamina. They didn't ruin the game by putting stamina as a requirement. Okay, so everything, yeah, everything's still basically the same. Because I always enjoyed the dungeon runs. Like, doing dungeon runs was, like, so much fun in this game. So we're just basically upgrading the card right now. That I know. I don't need to actually translate for that. Dude, if this game got a fucking global release or an English patch, I would play this 24-7. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You guys would see way too many videos of this. Because I didn't expect the most, the uh, Sword Girls Online PC version to go down. Which was very sad to see. Because I always tried to log on to it and just play as much as I could. 
when I had the time. If I had to say what school I enjoyed the most, hmm, so between this school or the cross, not not too sure. It's between one of these two. These two are alright, but I personally was always a huge fan of this. And if I had to choose between the ones that I enjoyed the most, it would definitely go to the cross. So now I can build a deck from scratch. So this is the story gameplay. There's a timer there. I feel like that's just for like boosts. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the game with like some kind of stamina or Restriction. I would be very sad. <laughs> I will say the layout looks very nice. So usually how it goes is, well, I can just explain this part if I didn't explain it in my uh, first playthrough. Well, no, the first video I uploaded for the PC version. So slot one attacks slot one, slot two is slot attack slot two three three four four five five wait no it goes around okay whoa okay that layout is very weird because the older version had the line you had card one two three four five one two three four five so they were like above each other which was like a lot easier to tell who was gonna hit who now i'm seeing this it's kind of weird And the typical flip for uh, who goes first. Okay, so my card. Let's see what you had. So. The first skill that she has increases the attack and HP of a random cross follower. Uh, opponent. <laughs> okay, if the opponent has no followers. Oh. If the opponent has no followers on the field. I guess it gets a subtract. Yeah, I guess the NPC takes negative one to their HP. I don't know. Translation translator isn't all that good. <laughs> so if anybody's watching this, yeah, if you could uh, make a English patch for this, that'd be great. <laughs> if there ever becomes an English patch, I'll definitely upload a lot of shit about it. The only sad reason that um, I'm well, the only reason that I'm uploading this to my main channel instead of my mobile channel is just because I was just sitting here like, dude, it needs more exposure. Maybe, maybe that'll get them wanting to make a global version. Low chance of that, but you know. Hey. So this one increases defense for any Dark Lord characters and lowers the defense of any random enemy followers. Okay. If the opponent is a season one character, the opponent takes one damage. Okay, we had spell cards and other cards. I remember quite a few of these cards you had something decent if i remember correctly oh yeah random cross member or croc member actually gets a one attack up i 
Oh, this is a spell. What is this one? Okay, one HP. Uh, attack increase the body to all followers. And if I have a main character. Oh no, if I have her, she gets plus one to HP. It's only funny because I think I can go to the wiki. I think the wiki is still up to where I can look at all the old Sword Girls Online cards. So I don't have to really struggle all that much. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're all up. Okay. I don't know if they have all the follower cards. They should. Where are the spell cards? Because for some reason, Google Translator is saying bot is saying ball slash body, which is making me curious of what the hell that is. This is Saint's blessing. So S. Let's see. Oh, there's Saint's Blessing. So Saint's Blessing. Allied Knights. Oh, allies with the word Knight in their name. Gets plus. Okay, so. Oh, they changed some of the effects. Oh. Some of the effects have been changed. So they basically rebalanced the whole game, too. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh yeah, you put them all out. Wait. Oh, the cost system. Didn't the cost system slowly go up though? It wasn't just like full on. Cause it, I think it played by the rule of um. What was it? It's been a while since I've played Sword Girls Online, so forgive me if my knowledge is outdated. But I'm pretty sure it played by the whole cost cost system starting off around a low number and it slowly went up if it didn't then I'm just forgetting things cuz I don't remember it being this this OP excuse me yeah this that card that we just used did not do that because <laughs> I remember it being like a one target thing Well, no, not one target thing. It used to like just. It, it didn't do that. Let's just say that. <laughs> Dude, imagine if somebody can make like a. Like a English patch. To be honest, you wouldn't even need a global release. If you can just make an English patch, I think everybody would be happy off that at least. They take damage by your cost. They don't take damage by your um, actual attack. So if his cost, if a enemy costs three, you're gonna take three damage. Oh god, I remember this OP is fuck character. So I can't put out the five because I'm already at seven. Okay, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I am remembering something in my turn. Okay, the clear field BS. Forgot about that. We got that existed annoyingly enough. Freaking hate that card.
Yeah, so I can reshuffle my cards. I actually like this character. I remember, like, farming for her, like, character card. Okay, let's, let's see what the Google Translator had to say about this. Restores all... Oh. Restores all followers' abilities, so if a follower loses the ability, it restores it. Actually, at random that they attacked something, or was it just like first slot? First, my brain. Apparently, I just don't remember Sword Girls Online as much as I used to. <laughs> but then again, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't help that you know it's been gone for so long. Apparently, I logged in on a day two. Maybe it registered that I try to play one day. Oh, did the game close or something? Oh, it's it's the news. It's the news board. That's what that was. What's this? Okay. Crafting material. Hold on. Is this dungeons? Okay, events is down here. So snow events going on. So this was like for event exclusive cards. You can make your own decks, decks and preset them it seems. Let's see if we can actually beat the event. I'm curious. So what did you do? Thankfully, there's no timer, so I don't have to worry about that, thankfully. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if it was PvP, I would have to worry about a timer. So I might as well learn my cards now, right? <laughs> okay, draw a night card from the top of your deck. And this will get... Oh, apparently this will gain attack and HP. In case that a random knight is on the field, plus one for armor. I don't have anything else to place but her. Like spell cards just completely took over my whole, <laughs> my whole like, field here. Why are this card being extremely different? Okay, what was this one? Okay, two cross members actually gain plus three HP. Um... A random follower with the name Knight 
gain defense and attack plus one. In that case, the follower with the highest, well, with the largest size, will end the action. I don't know. Somebody's a worded weirdly. But then again, that's just translating. What's, oh, wait. Does this still have the same effect that it used to have? Oh, it is. It is. So, hold on. Oh, whoops. I shouldn't do that. Well, too late. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. She goes first, too. I'm sad now because that card was actually really good. So which one was she? Uh, I need to get rid of those two. They're going to become an issue. I wish I still had the other card because I could have just half down there everybody's attack. Well, half down everybody's size. Because this is going to start getting dangerous. Because she gets to attack back. Basically like a counter system. If you hit them, they get the hit back. As long as they're not deactivated. This is why I say she's like extremely good just because of that situation. Oh yeah, you basically take damage from the size that dies too as well. Now, if this card is still the same as it used to be, this is this is the card's bring you like bread and butter. If the follower size is greater then the attacking follower get an increase by one defense and X amount of attack and stamina. So basically she just keeps on gaining. There's a chance I could actually play to swim. If this actually works out. Oh, God. I go first, at least. Her base sets are actually like, extremely good, too. Who are you attacking out of this? Ah, oh, annoying. She dies. Unfortunately, I'm going to get punched for all this. But this does help her out. Okay, by one. Thank God. Okay, no. So even if they are deactivated, they still get that. But we're clearing the field now. The problem is, I'm going to take a crap ton of damage from this. So that doesn't matter. 
I gotta figure out how to get rid of that now. Hmm. I don't remember you ever having a skill. cross member so that card is going to do much I think the number system was like who, who goes first if I remember correctly okay we, we stopped her from doing anything this turn Still need to get rid of her though, because she's gonna be a huge nuisance right now. We are gonna throw this down. Oh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, we're gonna. So this card only works for anybody who's during like season zero. So basically like any of like the starter decks from season zero. Okay, okay, okay. We got something going somewhat. I'm gonna need this to stop. No, this is blasphemy. Who are you attacking? You're attacking her, aren't you? Okay, I was about to say, please don't attack her. I gotta figure out something to kill her. No! I don't know what to do. How do you stop blasphemy? I don't think I have the cards to stop it. Except for her, but she would have to, like, really be able to get going. Oh god, she goes first. Oh dear god. Well, you guys are gonna have to do some damage. Nothing I can do. Because I can attack back off that. But I'm understanding how my cards work again. That was just like really bad on my part. Oh yeah, each character card also has its own effect, so it's always having, like, it can have, like, some debuffs, or it can have, like, some buffs to it. Or both. Oh, they have rankings for it now? As much as I like Cross. Hello, game. Oh, it's loading. But as much as I like Cross, I'm gonna go back with more of my... More of the class that I know better. If it's still the same. I don't know if it is or not. But, yeah, dude, hey. If you guys want to try out this game, try to get it a little bit some more support. Because I want them to make a global version. If they do make a global version, I'll play a lot of it on my downtime because dude Sword Girls Online was great to have back 
Because I had like so much bass knowledge of the game because I played it like 24 seven, like so often. Because it was actually like a really good card game. Hello? I think it froze. Is that my consequence for losing? Is that I freeze? <laughs> Could be. Well, I guess we'll end it off there. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. And to then. <sighs> Peace out. All right, back to working on my game. I, I just took a detour just because I saw this and I was just like, oh my God. <laughs>